Hey everybody, it's your radio pal Wes Nesman. Good job to Lubbock and the folks behind this year's Pride. Now, let's start here. 99.9% .9 of Lubbock didn't care about Pride, gay or straight. They didn't show up. They uh, were not a part of it. wasn't on their radar. And these folks had a nice afternoon in the park. And that's really all it is. It's You don't even really see people holding hands or anything. I don't know what you expect, some kind of weird... Bacchanal sex party, but no, it's kids with rainbows painted on their face or whatever. So once again, second year in a row, we got some little small-minded jerk preacher coming up there trying to, uh, I don't know what he thinks he's going to do. It's obvious. he it's No one has ever, ever been converted at a Pride event. It hasn't happened. And this numb nuts is not going to be the first guy to do it. As a matter of fact, afterwards, he was trying to post on other media to get some attention because he didn't really get any at the event. He was pretty much laughed out of the place. And that's why I'm saying good job, Lovett. Now, we have to be very vigilant and make sure these sparks do not become fires. We do have to do that. But it's awesome that you were able to laugh this guy out of the place because that's what he is 100%. He's a joke, a really bad joke, but a joke. It's important for us as rockers to stand up to bullies. You may remember there was a time when they used to kick the shit out of long hairs here. And of course, it wasn't that long ago they were beating punks here. So gay people are the current target. And you know what? That's what bullies seek is targets of opportunity. So we shut this asshole down now, and we don't have to deal with him later on some other front. You guys, I know it can be really weird, and I don't completely understand the gay thing. I don't. I do understand people's right to have a life, to exist. And basically, that's what this guy was saying, was is you don't have a right to be who you are. I believe people have a right to exist. And it can be uncomfortable, and you don't know what to do, and you don't want to go to a Pride event, and you don't want to be called gay or whatever. That's okay. All of us have a friend, a relative, someone we know or love who is gay. You may not even know it yet. Just next time this year, slip uh, the private event five bucks. Help them keep going. Or send a private message to your relative saying, Hey, I got you back if it ever comes down to it. Just let these people know that they're welcome in the hub city and they're people. And there's no reason to marginalize them or to let assholes like this come and try to ruin their party. You guys be awesome to each other.